John 3.36 says, He who believes in the Son has everlasting life, and he who does not believe the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. In other words, choose Jesus who paid for your sin or God's wrath because of the consequences of your sin. Jesus was given the authority by his Father to sell what God was offering the family of man. Not unlike many salesmen, Jesus spent a lot of time explaining the benefits of what he was selling by sharing what a life following him would entail. And just like the salesman who doesn't want to talk about the cost right up front, Jesus alluded to the price but waited until the very end to completely explain it to his disciples because he knew the cost would be too high for them to comprehend his sacrifice. Like many of us, they were cynics when the salesman Jesus tried to tell them that he alone was going to pick up the bill. However, just like winning an expensive car, you have to find a way to pay the sales tax. This is also true with your commitment to follow Christ. Jesus in Matthew 10:38 says that whoever does not take up his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Your Christian faith must be more than a rabbit's foot you keep in your pocket for good luck. It must be a faith that is vibrant and willing to suffer for the cause of Christ. A faith that's willing to be persecuted and made to feel uncomfortable because you no longer succumb to the temptation of sin in your life. You may think you can't afford the sales tax on this gift Jesus has given you of letting God change your life, but it's part of the deal, and the gift far exceeds anything you could do in your lifetime to ever even try to pay Christ back for eternal life.